I'm Jonathan, and I'm here to read day 15. So let's start with some scripture. This is Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 12. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. So this was, past, this was written by a pastor in Australia. But imagine, uh, just for a moment, that you were one of those shepherds. You are out on a hillside. Uh, you're tending your flock. You're by yourself. Uh, the other shepherds don't really hang out with you. The townspeople certainly don't respect you. Uh, they think you're kind of smelly, probably a thief. And just generally, they don't want anything to do with you. So you're out there by yourself tending your flock. And then out of nowhere, the, in the stillness of night, this amazing power surrounds you. God's glory is in your midst. How would you feel? Are you terrified? Are you, are you overwhelmed? Are you, are you comforted? When I look back on my life and I've been placed in the presence of, of very powerful people, uh, with authority. I, I've been like those shepherds. Terrified that I might be in trouble. Terrified that I might mess things up. Terrified that I might be criticized. And as a pastor, at, at times, I meet people who feel the same way about God. They worry that God will criticize them or condemn them or even punish them. But God has a different message for us just like he had for the shepherds. God's angel says, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy for all the people. The good news is that God uses his power and authority not to condemn or terrify people, but to give us Jesus, who gives us the real gift of Christmas, the gift of loving life with God forever. So being in God's presence leads to joy, not fear when we truly hear from God. Let's reflect on that just for a minute. As you spend time with God, take notice of the good news that God gives you that you can share with everyone that you know. Let's end in prayer. Almighty God, thank you for using your power and glory to give us the good news of Christmas. May everyone know you by your good news. Amen. Y'all have a very Merry Christmas.